Sometimes you sit and contemplate. I was doing that the other day and asking the question, what is in store for 2021? I heard the words, there will be potholes along the journey. Now, initially I thought, oh no, not more trouble. I would like to see all the trouble left behind in 2020 and face a smooth journey in 2021. much contemplation on this word, there will be potholes, I thought about it and I realised that potholes are not nearly as bad as a rough road. When you are facing a rough road ahead, you know that you have to brace yourself for a whole journey of trouble, traps and turmoil. But if you are on a journey that takes you down a smooth highway with a few potholes, it is a totally different journey. On a rough road, you cannot avoid the bumps and hazardous, treacherous terrain. The whole trip is slow and tedious. But if it is just potholes, that is something that you can avoid. There are usually signs there to alert you. Now, you don't automatically avoid them. You have to keep your eyes open to avoid them. I think we, as well as keeping our physical eyes open, we must keep our spiritual eyes open. From a distance, you do not always recognise the danger ahead, but if our spiritual eyes are open, we can be alerted to the danger ahead and be prepared. We can avoid the imminent danger of a pothole far easier than a totally treacherous road. So, on reflection, the word was quite encouraging. Of course, this means the journey ahead must be faced in preparedness, not just travelling in ignorant bliss. We must stay alert, looking to avoid the danger spots. Then, we must be prepared to divert from our forward journey to avoid danger. You like my We may have to take the long way around instead of going through. It may take longer. But we will arrive at our destination without damaging the vehicle we are in and wasting far more time while waiting for it to be repaired or even worse, suffering in our physical bodies. I believe that God only wants good in our future. He wants to give us double blessing for the trouble the enemy has brought upon us in the last season. He wants us to be blessed and wants to divert us from any more trouble coming our way. time to rise up and be the church. We were shut down, but now it is time inside and outside of our walls to be the church. Isaiah 61 7 says, instead of your shame, I will give you a double portion 
and instead of humiliation, they will shout for joy over their portion. They will possess a double portion in their land and everlasting joy will be theirs. I want to encourage you to keep the faith, keep confident, never move in fear. Our decisions should never be based on fear, but faith. All of our actions should be faith actions. We are the church, we live by faith. We are the church, we live by faith. We are the church, we walk by faith. We are the church, we live by faith. We are the church, we give by faith. We are the church, we live by faith. We are the church, we walk by faith.